Hello, this is Aaron from AaronOnAutos.com. Today we're doing a uh, Driving in Wyoming Shaky Cam Interior Review. This time of the uh, Toyota Tundra 1794 Edition. Uh, this is the... Uh, I, have a, I have a sore throat, so uh, this is going to be a little rough. But uh, this is uh, Toyota's uh, most posh truck. It's, uh, it competes with the uh, Laramie Longhorn and the um, uh, Ford King Ranch and so forth. Uh, it's very, very pretty. It, they did a very good job with this uh, cowboy Cadillac here. Uh, you'll see this leather um, and this faux wood. This this accent is throughout the uh, the cabin. You'll you'll see it everywhere. Um, most of the controls are what you expect to see on any uh, Tundra in a top trim. Um, so the window controls are about the same. Uh, this does have uh, seat memory, uh, which you won't see in most of the other Tundras. Um, it has uh, automatic uh, uh, rear view window folding um, and is otherwise basically the same. You see here's the rear glass, uh, here's the uh, lighting controls, uh, blind spot management, so forth. So, But you see that this carries through this uh, leather look and this, uh, this right here, this wood. Um, instrument panel is about the same. Uh, if I if I turn the key, I won't start it, but if I turn the key, you'll see that uh, everything's basically the same as it has been. Uh, they didn't change anything here. Um, moving around, um, I'm actually kind of surprised the stereo didn't come on. So, <laughs> uh, moving around, you'll see it's a, a black top on the dashboard, but they added little things uh, like this non-slip uh, grip surface there. Um, this is the uh, uh, central speaker in the front. Uh, it's a, a good stereo in here. The JBL is a, a great system. Um, this is the center stack. Not uh, a lot of difference between this and what you would see on a like Tundra Limited, which I was in last week. Um, you see the controls. Everything is basically the same as in uh, any other uh, top-level Tundra, like I said. Um, the uh, seat heating and cooling is here. Uh, as far as I know, this is the only Tundra you can get with seat cooling, which is a, a pretty cool thing. Um, I really enjoy it. I like it a lot. Um, that would explain why the seats themselves, you see this beautiful leather, it's just awesome. Um, the, this is perforated here. Uh, and then you'll see the suede on the edges and up the sides there. Um, and then the embossed 1794. Uh, 1794 uh, is the name of the ranch that Toyota bought uh, to build their facility in Texas uh, to build these trucks. So uh, you see the center console, the center uh, uh, storage is uh, basically the same as in other trucks, except for this leather and this uh, nameplate here. Uh, shifter has wood on it. Everything is very uh, just just gorgeous in this truck. It's it's. Very, very nicely done. Very, very pretty. Um, I'll, I'll take you up. You can see the headliner here is exactly the same as in the limited edition. Uh, it's very, very well. Uh, just very nice. Um, overall, this is a, a great truck on the interior. Uh, the exterior color on this is uh, bronze, and it's a beautiful, beautiful bronze. Um, it changes color during the day. I've tried to do photography to... Uh, showcase that but it's very difficult um, but about noontime the uh, uh, the bronze is a, is almost a golden color and then as the uh, as the light uh, waxes it uh, it turns more uh, brown and then at night it looks like a dark brown and then it just it's just a you know when you drive under street lights it suddenly changes to that shade of bronze it's just a great great color um, probably my favorite thing about this truck is that color so that's it. This has been the interior uh, review of the 2014 Toyota Tundra 1794 edition. Um, this is Toyota's Cowboy Cadillac, the top of the line. Uh, very good truck. I do have a few beefs with it. Um, if you read my full review of it, you will, uh, which you'll find on uh, carnewscafe.com, uh, and you'll that'll eventually be linked at uh, Aaron on Autos. Um, You'll find some of the issues that I had with this truck. Um, they are mainly about uh, um, uh, ergonomics and ride quality. Uh, and a lot of that has to do with some of the packaging that came with this truck. 
So I'll get into those uh, details in, <coughs> excuse me, in a full review of this truck. Until then, this has been Aaron from AaronOnAutos.com, and we'll talk to you again soon.